Okay, so a lot has happened. Uh, it is Wednesday, August 20 something, uh, about 1245. 1246. All right, thank you. Uh, so yesterday, Ethan's had his surgery, and I think that's where we left off last with um, the videos. And yesterday was just a really long day. Um, he went straight from the OR to getting a CAT scan and so he didn't get back into the room until late evening. Um, we waited for the CAT scan results uh, to go over with the uh, surgeon um, and kind of just get a idea. Basically Ethan's tumor is really complicated. It's in around a lot of blood vessels so um, you know they did what they could they took out what they what they could and that was kind of the goal uh, there's still a good portion still um, in there and that's down the road um, so they're gonna send uh, all those tissue samples out for pathology to see you know what kind of tumor it is um, for treating the, the tumor um, in the meantime he had a uh, an MRI during the middle of the night to compare the MRI to the CAT scan. All of that looked pretty good. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of difference between the CAT scan right after surgery and the MRI about six hours later. The, they used the word promising. Promising. Promising results. Uh, so we um, got here about 5.30 this morning. Uh, Ethan was in his bed, calm, resting. You know, they've got whatever number of tubes that you're imagining, like multiply that by like 10, and that's about as many tubes and everything that's that's connected to him. Um, so he's on a ventilator. Part of that is because he's in such a deep sleep. Um, he needs help breathing. The goal for today was to uh, get the ventilator, wake him up enough to get the ventilator off of him and breathing on his own. That was the next step. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, the doctors noticed that uh, his, his right pupil, uh, which is the side that the tumor's on, uh, was really dilated. Um, and so within a couple of minutes, we had about 20 people uh, in his, well, maybe not 20, uh, 10 uh, or more uh, people in the room, you know, talking really fast, ordering lots of stuff now. Um, so we just kind of sat here on the couch going, this is not good. Uh, so they rushed him down to give him medicine to immediately uh, lower pressure on the brain, um, which is probably what was causing, like, pressure on that blood vessel was causing his pupil to dilate, is what they guessed. They went down and got an immediate CAT scan, uh, CT scan, uh, and those results showed that sometime this morning Ethan had a stroke. Uh, in the occipital part of his brain, which controls vision. Uh, so we don't know any extent of that damage um, until, you know, he, he wakes up. In the meantime, uh, his surgeon from yesterday, who's like the head boss lady neurosurgeon, was pulled out of, she was in OR, she was pulled out of that surgery to take Ethan immediately into surgery so they are um, currently uh, t removing a section of his skull to make room for swelling so like when the brain swells there's nowhere for the swelling to go because it's encased in your skull so they're removing a part of his skull to allow for swelling to prevent any further damage um, his skull we were reassured that his skull would be frozen and you know kept sanitized uh, so that it can be put back on um, when the swelling goes down. So this is kind of a lot. Um, uh, <laughs> we're, we feel like we're kind of on, we feel like we're on this roller coaster, but we feel like we're just kind of roller coastering down. Um, so not a whole lot of good news. Uh, we're hoping that maybe, you know, good news will, will start. Uh, there's really no place else for Ethan to be, but here getting the best care possible. We feel really fortunate uh, that we are here and he has the doctors that he needs to have, like this is where he needs to be and these are the hands that need to be uh, working on him. So we are doing our part and I'm all done because now I'm crying. Yeah. So 
anyway, just keeping you posted and um, hopefully next time we have a lot more happy news. Um, we're, we're good uh, and we're here where we need to be and our kids are home with their cousins and grandparents and so we're really thankful and we feel the love. We know we have a lot of people praying for us and taking care of us and um, so we're, we're really grateful for that and we'll update you when uh, we have information and we're ready to do so. So uh, thank you and I think that's it. Yep. Okay.